and welcome back. I thought I would talk about three steps to fake your way to fabulous skin at this time of year. I was going to say flawless, but nobody really has flawless skin. So let's do three ways to fake yourself to fabulous skin. And it's really simple. And they're probably products that you've actually got hanging around. And it's a simple three step process. In fact, for me, most days it's two, but I'll go on to describe what I love and worry about the third step if you've got less than flawless, youthful, plump, gorgeous skin. Right, the first step is to exfoliate and fake tan. Now you can do it in the most brilliant, kind of unique, as far as I know, single process, and that is Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Glow Pad. I was introduced to this by Claudia Winkleman, believe it or not, who said to me, have you tried the Dr. Dennis Gross? We were shopping together. Have you tried the Dr. Dennis Gross products? I said, of course, I'm completely obsessed with the peel pads. Have you tried the one with the hint of self tan in them? And I was like, oh, heaven. Because basically anything that multitasks and save time is a winner with me. And this is essentially one of those peel pads, but it leaves behind not only the acid, but also the DHA, which tints the top of your skin. Trust me, it's genius, it's expensive I know, but you just think you are sort of getting two products in one. Anyway, that is the quickest overnight step to flawless skin you're ever going to find because it gives a really nice hint of a color on all but the darkest skin tones, but also more importantly, it exfoliates. It really beautifully exfoliates. Uh, so they are the Alpha Beta Glow Pad Self Tan of Her Face. There, look at this, gradual glow. Although to be honest, you get quite a nice glow even after the first night, but if you use it two or three nights on the trot, you're gonna get a perfect, smooth finish, even fake tan. Just be careful through your eyebrows, that's all. Although that said, I probably do kind of go haphazardly all over my eyebrows and don't forget to go down to here. You don't need to exfoliate first and I don't put anything else on top, I must admit. Uh, it says gradual glow for dull la skin lacking radiance and glow. That's everybody at this time of year, right? First essential product. However, if you don't have that budget or you've got other products around, simply use an acid toner and then put your fake tan on top. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, will an acid toner work with a self tan? Self tanners tend to work better in an acid environment. I mean, obviously don't use an incredibly strong product, but something like that Kiehl's product that I mentioned in my last video, yes, my last video, is perfect. You know my favourite overnight self tanners, James Reed uh, Sleep Tan Mask Retinol, because I love it because it's got a really low dose retinol in, and e any of the Tan Lux ones actually. I've got uh, Tan Lux Illuminating Self Tan Drops, uh, Tan Lux uh, Rejuvenating Self Tan Drops, and my current favourite is the brand new one, which I haven't got here, but I've been testing and I really like. I got it in an original advanced packaging, so I need to find a picture and drop in the proper picture here, which is the Super Glow Hyaluronic Acid. And essentially, these are, you add drops to your night routine, make it as strong or as weak as you want. I'm kind of like a two to three drop per night person. Um, and I would actually put that into my hyaluronic acid. Well, guess what? They've now created a product that ready mixes the DHA active self tanning ingredient with hyaluronic acid. Anyway, that's your first step out of the way. It essentially gives you great skin to wake up to. And it takes just a few seconds. Just remember to rinse your hands before you go to sleep. Step two. I'm not gonna jump straight to foundations. I'm going to go to those hybrid skin imperfection blurring products that are around. Think about the Trini products that blur the line. So you've got uh, BFF, BFFI, Miracle Blur. They are gently tinted, soft focus, sort of concealers, but really you can put them on all over your skin. The BFF goes all over your face. It's a really nice product. The, uh, the pigment bursts on your skin and gives a soft focus SPF. But actually my favorite ones are Miracle Blur and BFFI. And the reason I like them is because essentially they're no makeup makeup, which is where we're going now. My shade on BFFI is Davinia and if I show you the way it works, what you've got is a concealer here that actually can be used all over the face, but it's very light, very hydrating, and sort of disappears to nothing on the skin. It's almost like a concealer meets tinted moisturizer. Bare hand, hand with Davinia on. Now, obviously this has been chosen to match my skin color. You're not gonna see a huge difference. 
but it is a really nice hydrating product. And then the Miracle Blur is a really clever product. This is in the tradition of any of those pore minimizing Clinique benefit products. And it's actually a super lightweight, completely untinted, though it looks like it's tinted, silicon primer. And it goes on the skin, it feels like velvet, and it's essentially almost pure silicon with light reflective particles in. And what it does is it temporarily fills lines. Trini always talks about the lines around her lips that she really hates. Well, for me, I dab it on here if I'm filming and in here because it softens that effect. It doesn't give any color. It suits all skin tones. It will also work on large pores. What you're doing here is you're doing the no makeup makeup look. If you look like you're wearing foundation, nobody's, they're gonna notice your foundation, they're not really gonna notice your skin. So the Trini products have a look at, but they are in the tradition and the history of things like no concealer, concealer, no foundation, foundation from Pericone, but also Benefit Professional um, and uh, the Clinique Even Better Skin Corrector range. Ranges I want you to look out for include the brand new Kosas, Cossas uh, that's come to the UK. And this is a perfect example of what I call skincare makeup hybrid. Uh, they call it Makeup Meets Skincare. This is their uh, tinted face oil. It's a perfect case in point if you want that next step up. And if I show you what it's like, the packaging's super chic. That little bead in there, you, that's a sure sign that things are separating when they lie on the shelf. A lot of SPFs have them as well. And let me show you this product on the back of my hand. This is what I would call, they call it a tinted face oil. This is what I would call the lightest possible, lightest possible tinted moisturizer. And it goes on beautifully and it, it hardly adds any color. It simply softens imperfections. It's, it, it's, it's almost like skincare, but with just a hint of color. And it's a really lovely product. It comes in a range of shades and it's well worth looking at if you want super, super, super light tinted moisturizers. There are other products on the, the market and there are powder equivalents. If like me, you quite like a demi matte finish. Uh, for example, I've got hardly any foundation on today. I've got concealer and I've got the Pat McGrath uh, setting powder on in a color that is tinted to match my skin. Uh, I know that powders are hideously unfashionable and a lot of people don't like them, even though ironically, they're super, super fashionable in the high end now because that matte 90s look is back. If your skin is anything less than perfect, and I don't mean that by a sense of color or a spot or anything like that, but if you've got imperfections that affect the texture of your skin and as you get older, you get hollow through here and through here and you get lines through here, a matte finish is going to be that much more flattering to your skin. And the reason is, is when light hits a matte surface, it basically, absorbs, it doesn't bounce back. And the advantage of that is you can then choose where to put your highlighter, which we're now going to go on to. And you put it in areas that you're comfortable to have highlight in. So I would be comfortable here, but I wouldn't be comfortable up here and in here. I wouldn't want it round here. I'd be happy here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Brow bone. But it, young people are obsessed with highlighters and I get it, they look beautiful on young, plump, gorgeous skin. If you're beginning to get undulations in your skin because of loss of volume or age, then a matte finish or a demi matte finish is going to be much more flattering. Everything I've shown you so far probably gives you a demi matte finish, apart from probably the uh, BFFI, which is Trini Likes a Glow. We talked about in our video today that she likes a glow. However, her skin concerns are different from mine. She has a much fuller face than I have and therefore she's not concerned with indentations going this way. Two things I want to show you. Uh, there's the It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder, which is amazing. It's a soft focus powder that uh, is designed to be put onto, because I just opened it up and it's gone everywhere. It's a soft focus, uber lucent powder. So along the lines of the um, Beauty Pie one, the one powder wonder that I talk about, it's super lightweight. And what it does is it basically just gets a soft focus finish. It says bye bye pores because it's for oily skin. However, if you want an uber lucent finish along the lines of Beauty Pie one powder wonder, then this is the product for you. It's a really nice one. And Topshop do a budget version as well. And there you go, that typical uberlucent looks really white, but actually suits all skin colors. It really does. 
you're only going to believe this if you have a darker skin tone than I do to go on counter and try it, trust me. Uh, boots, larger branches of Boots, Vita Cosmetics, and obviously branches of Topshop. This is Invisible Powder White Lies. Thought it said white lines there for a second. I thought it was going to be a slightly risque <laughs> reference for a white powder. Anyway, they both work really well. I have to say, honestly, the It Cosmetics uh, pore blurring powder is better. It actually comes, if you have a look, with a little powder puff, but I just brush it onto my skin. I do it right down the center pan and leave my shine right here. It's, it's also brilliant for setting under the eyes, it really is. I know it sounds weird. I know a lot of people don't like to set under their eyes, but I set under my eyes and then I brush it all away. Um, it's just my thing. I'm really conscious of the areas around here and around my eyes. I like them to be matte and then I put all my shimmer above the lid. Go back in afterwards and if you feel like it's beginning to settle into your fine lines under here, you don't have to listen to this if you're under 40, then literally just brush the excess away with a clean brush. Um, nobody's ever going to talk me out of how flattering a matte skin is after a certain point in your life. However, let's talk about some of the ways to add a glow because there's no getting away from the fact that the glow is the final thing to look for in gorgeous skin. And I've got a number of things here that I think are really interesting. Um, perfect case in point would be, I've talked about this before, Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. If you're thinking about a sort of demi-matte finish in your, in your foundation, um, and you decide you want something with a bit more glow, then step up to something like Beauty Blur, which I've talked about before, or you might just want a hint of color with a glow, sort of like a tinted moisturizer, but with more of a glow. There are a couple here I really like. There is Umbra Tint uh, Daily Defense, which is um, an SPF 30, that's from Drunk Elephant. And that is, is an SPF that you can use every day with just a hint of color in it. And if I show you what it's like on the back of my hand, you'll understand what I mean when I say it gives skin a healthy glow. Matte hand, healthy glow hand. Matte hand, healthy glow hand. Young skin, better for older skin. It's a really, really lovely product and it's a lovely SPF. In fact, it's a nice one to invest in if you're going abroad in the summer because essentially what that in is, is, is a wash of tint in a beautiful SPF that protects your skin. Matte skin. Glowy skin. I do get that people like glowy skin. I just think as you get older, you have to be careful where you glow. Uh, the other one that I've been raving about like crazy is the Bobbi Brown Extra Golden Glow. That's their illuminating moisture balm. This was a limited edition at Christmas, but I'm campaigning to bring it back. However, they do, I think, have three other shades. And this is very similar as well. That's that sort of golden shade. I do think if in doubt, don't go silver, don't go pinky, unless you're incredibly pale always air on the side of bronze gold and it's just a much more flattering finish for people and let me show you what that looks like this doesn't have any spf in it does it no it's purely a hydrating balm can i just say it? they call it a balm i just think it's a really nice lightweight skin finish when i think balm i think really heavy it's quite heavily scented that one by the way other things that people are loving at the moment um i don't know if you've seen this but this is glossier future dew it's not for my skin type at all. I wouldn't put it all over my face because it's quite oily. It's one of those other hybrid products that we've talked about. So it's a sort of hydrator stroke, oil stroke, highlighter. However, I would use it selectively in places on my face to add glow afterwards. So I would add it here and I would add it here. In fact, let me do that now and I'll show you what it looks like. It's that weird hybrid sort of um, pinky, sparkly, instantly worries me, but actually it is quite flattering. It's it's fairly thick and I'm going to use it carefully here. Uh, let me get that top shop thing up and I'll show you the sort of gloss it gives to skin. I know young people that love it all over before they put their foundation on, but that's not for me. So what I would do is I would add it here and just pat it in. And then let me show you the sort of glow it gives. You can feel that it hydrates the skin. Um, and it does give a lovely finish. It's a lovely product to put on your skin and it's lovely to hydrate your skin midday. It's just that for me, I wouldn't put it on all over. I would put it on much more selectively. However, if you're watching this and you're 25 and you've got immaculate skin, you're gonna love this product because it really does hydrate and it gives a beautiful primer, but a glowy, glossy primer. Um, so that is Future Dew. It's sort of unicorn skin. 
<laughs> in a bottle. The, the, the sort of slightly holographic effect on the outer package actually is reflected in the inner package. I don't know if you can see that. Let me show you close up. There you go. There's a good holographic finish. Um, it is flattering. It is really, really, really hydrating. It is slightly oily, so be careful if you're using it on oily or occluded or troublesome skin. If you want a lighter version, I've talked about this a lot, I really love Glow Formula by Kiehl's. This is not oily, this is purely hydrating. It's a tinted one again, so it can be worn all over the skin. It's surprisingly similar to the Bobbi Brown one, but this is obviously from the L'Oreal group, and it's just a lovely product. That's That would be my, along with the uh, Kosas one, that my favorite all over product. It's much lighter, it's much more sort of glycerin, hyaluronic acid based than oil based like the Glossier one. That leaves skin tip tacky, that just leaves skin hydrated. Somebody uh, came in on one of my feeds the other day and said I didn't get on with that at all and I find that really hard to believe because I think it's a, it's a great product and it hides its light under a bushel, it really does. Um, finally, um, if you've got the budget, and this is the problem, and I was just about to pick up ivory, but let's pick up buff because I'm not an ivory person, I'm much more a buff person. I really, really, really like the, you know I like the Perico No Makeup Makeup range. And as we're going super lightweight here, I want to introduce you to No Makeup Foundation Serum. And this is a great product, it really is. If I show you the sort of finish you can get with it. So it's in a dropper a la the Ordinary, and I'm not really surprised, to be honest, that The Ordinary sort of duped it, because it is a great product, but it is expensive. It's got an SPF 20 in it as well, and what you end up with is you end up with a soft focus tint with an SPF in it, but unlike the um, Drunk Elephant uh, Ombre Tint SPF 30 that has got a glossy finish, this has just got a perfect demi matte finish. It's a gorgeous product, it's so expensive, but I do love them. I really like that makeup, skincare, hybrid thing that's happening within beauty now to give you, and I do think it's a reflection of the fact that we are finally realizing that more is not necessarily more, and less can be more when it comes to makeup. Um, so what I hope I've gone through there is a list of options for all ages and all skin types. It's a three-step process. Exfoliate and self-tan, then add some sort of soft focus finish to the areas you dislike, and it can be a powder, it can be actually even a tinted oil, it can be um, a concealer, a soft focus concealer, a silicon based one, and I suggest the areas that most people need it is here, around the nose, the chin, and just in here. And then if you want, rather than cover the rest of your face in a foundation, which you don't need to, you can go into those hybrids that have an, a hint of a tint and either a gloss, a hint of a tint, and a, a touch of SPF, a hint of a tint, and even, self tanner in them. That is my guide to the things I'm currently loving to give you faux flawless skin. <laughs> faux fabulous skin, let's not say flawless, and I'm much more comfortable with the term fabulous than flawless because each of us can actually benefit from something here. Ask me any questions below, I'll put all the details of the products down below. It's a really interesting take on relatively new products that I think are blurring the line. They're becoming multifunctional and they're blurring the line between skin and makeup. And trust me, short of putting your like, it's like this is the anti-double wear movement. Short of putting double wear on your face and looking flawless, but the problem is everybody can see your makeup with here. You, nobody will see what you're wearing. It's sort of a sleight of the hand. It's the magic circle of beauty products. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you soon.